Thank you very much, Sharon. Well, the province has achieved a rare victory in court over the Churchill Falls contract. Nalcor says the Quebec Court of Appeal ruled substantially in its favour in a dispute with Hydro-Quebec. Premier Dwight Ball says that means the Muskrat Falls project will be able to work as planned. NTV's Michael Connors joins us live with more on our top story. Michael? Thank you very much, Lynn. Well, Nalcor and Hydro-Quebec are putting out somewhat different interpretations of what this ruling means. Nalcor is claiming a substantial victory, while Hydro-Quebec says it won the right to operational flexibility. One of the shadows looming over Muskrat Falls was an ongoing court battle with Hydro-Quebec. Muskrat Falls is supposed to be an 824 megawatt project. But critics argued it would only be able to produce 17% of that power because of plans to use the Churchill Falls Reservoir for storage. A water management agreement imposed by the province in 2009 is supposed to coordinate the two facilities. But Hydro-Quebec argued that it was entitled to the lion's share of power from Churchill Falls whenever it wants. And it won a court case in Quebec three years ago to back that up. But now all of that has changed after the Quebec Court of Appeal ruled substantially in favor of Nalcor subsidiary CFLCO. Are you relieved at all that for once something's come? <laughs> very, very relieved. Uh, very relieved, I will say, because, you know, these were always these question marks. The ruling means that under the 2016 Churchill Falls renewal contract, CFLCO is entitled to surplus power above monthly limits. And Premier Dwight Ball says that means the water management agreement will work. So it's, it's good news for the province here that, you know, that Muskrat Falls, through all the question marks that have had, that's been surrounded by this, is at least now from a water management point of view, we will not have to worry about that again. Nalcor had insisted all along that the Churchill Falls renewal case would have no impact on the water management agreement. But Ball wishes there had been more certainty on that question before Muskrat Falls had been sanctioned in 2012. Anytime someone, when I asked questions about that, they always came back to me and said that, you know, we are very confident that we're in the right, uh, right spot on this and that legally that we would be able to withstand any legal challenge. Uh, you know, of course, it, you know, you got uh, some butterflies in your stomach when we were in the middle of, of some of the big challenges that we faced at Muskrat in, in the summer of, you know, 2016 and saw the decision coming in that was not supporting Newfoundland and Labrador. So, you know, we quickly determined that we need to appeal this to uh, maintain and make sure that the integrity is in place for the Muskrat Falls project. Now, Nalcor is still sticking to its position that losing this court case would have had no impact on water management. Uh, Nalcor CEO Stan Marshall put out a statement. He said, we are pleased with the decision made by the Quebec Court of Appeal. The decision issued today is complex and the company will need some time to, con uh, to complete a comprehensive review of the judgment and its financial and operational impacts. We will continue to work cooperatively with Hydro-Quebec to implement the court decision. And on the other side of things, Hydro-Quebec also put out a statement and they said Hydro-Quebec is satisfied that the Court of Appeal has upheld its right to operational flexibility provided for under the 1969 Churchill Falls contract and that Hydro-Quebec is not subject to fixed monthly blocks of energy. The decision confirms that CFL Co. must respect its commitments to Hydro-Quebec. The company also says the decision is complex and an analysis of other items is underway and there is no word on whether there will be an appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada. Lynn? Thank you very much. I'm sure there will be lots of reaction tomorrow. Thank you, Michael, reporting live from our newsroom.